Hey guys, my name's James. And I'm Ashley. Last year we sold our house and we're traveling across the country with our kids. Hi, my name's Goose and this is Maverick. <laughs> Come join us. All right, next up on my to-do list, I'm sure many of you have done this, is it's time to replace the anode rod in our uh, hot water heater. We have a suburban hot water heater, so it comes with an anode rod to basically sacrifice itself to save the tank. It erodes away the rod instead of your tank. So every few years, you should switch that out. It's super cheap. It's like, I think, 15 or 20 bucks on Amazon. I will link it up down below in the description so you can check that out. Well, let's go ahead and do that. There. So when you compare the old one to the new one, that's when the difference becomes real apparent. So it's definitely time to replace our anode rod. So they say that these can last up to four years, but I'm guessing when you're full timing and you are in some pretty poor water spots, that you're gonna wanna change them closer to two. This is about two and a half, maybe three years of use. And definitely, I think we should have changed it a little bit earlier. Now that we got a nice wrap on there, we will go ahead and plug it up. So, because I haven't drained my water tank, the water is gonna keep flowing out here until my tank is empty. Also, if you're on city water, you definitely want to turn off your city water because you'll have the pressurized city water shooting out at you. So it's one thing to have your tank draining out, but if you have the city water pressure shooting out, it's not gonna be so good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in here. I don't need to wait for it to drain out all the way. And from everything I've read, you want it to be snug, but you don't want to over tighten it. Actually, I'd be curious if any of you know uh, what the manufacturer's recommendations on foot pounds for tightening it down would be. That would be something I would love to know. So comment down below and I'm sure everybody else would be interested in that as well. But you don't want to over tighten it because that could cause issues. So I think we're good. A couple just pointers that you might want to be aware of before you go ahead and do yours is you're going to need some plumber's tape to wrap around that rod so you get a nice seal. And then also, I was almost positive I had a socket large enough to remove it, but my sockets only went up to one inch. And this is one in one sixteenth, I believe. And so I just double checked, it is one in one sixteenth, so it is a massive socket. So make sure you have one of those because otherwise you're gonna be trying to get with a crescent wrench or something and that just won't work well. So definitely you need a large socket, the plumber's tape, turn off city pressure and drain your water tank if you don't wanna mess like I had. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. And it's way better than spending 800 bucks to replace your uh, hot water heater. So definitely every few years, if not more often, go ahead and switch out your anode rod. It costs you 20 bucks.